In this video, we study the method of tabular integration. Um, so for integrals of the form, where you've got a polynomial times either an exponential, a sine or a cosine, um, there is uh, an abridged version of uh, the method of uh, integration by parts. Uh, that we can apply uh, and uh, this uh, bridged uh, version of integration by parts is called tabular integration um, so this is called uh, tabular integration so this uh, can be applied now the the method uh, rests on the um, fact that if you take the polynomial here and uh, differentiate it um, then if you differentiate it uh, uh, the same number of times as the degree you get a constant so if you differentiate it the number of times equal to the degree plus one then it's going to differentiate to zero so what we do in this method is we take the polynomial and uh, differentiate it repeatedly um, until we get zero so the polynomial is differentiated uh, repeatedly um, until we get zero so this is differentiated repeatedly um, to zero and then on the other hand the other term is integrated repeatedly um, the idea is that uh, uh, e sine or cosine is uh, pretty easy to integrate repeatedly so the other term is integrated uh, repeatedly and then the two are meshed uh, in um, um, using a rule that we're going to show you in a moment so the other term is uh, integrated <clears throat> repeatedly and then uh, meshed accordingly so this is how the, the matching goes so if you imagine uh, so let's just uh, use uh, p of x for our polynomial here and q of x for our other term okay so what we want to do is we're going to take p and differentiate it uh, repeatedly uh, all the way until we get a zero um, so if it's a polynomial of degree 2, we're going to have to differentiate it three times. Then we take the other term, which we're calling Q. Uh, that term we integrate repeatedly the same number of times uh, so that we match this term that is 0 there. And then in terms of matching, the first term in the first row is matched with the second term in the second row and this goes um, on and on and then the first term is always um, goes with a plus sign and then the signs alternate all the way to the end all right so that's how basically the method works uh, we're not going to show you a few examples before we show you uh, the examples in fact some of the examples we're going to do uh, are examples that we have done in our 
um, integration by parts uh, video it's going to be part two okay so we are just going to just for the sake of demonstration bring back the calculation for one of them uh, to show how long it was using parts and then we're going to compare with our working here all right so we're going to demonstrate how to use the method of uh, tabular integration uh, to evaluate uh, uh, these uh, integrals here the first one just uh, so that we can compare we have uh, brought back uh, our working uh, that enabled us to integrate it before um, so this was uh, in part uh, two of our integration by parts videos so we'll start off with the integral here we apply parts once and then at this point we still have the polynomial of degree one times e to the x on two so that means we have to apply parts again um, so these are the substitutions uh, after a few lines then we now have e to the x on 2 times polynomial of degree 0. Then we can integrate and then we simplify and that is our final expression there. Now in general we say the, the number of uh, repetitive um, ways, um, the number of times we're going to apply parts corresponds to the degree of the polynomial there. So if this is degree 3, we're going to have to apply parts repeatedly three times. If this is 4, then 4 times, etc. Okay, so now let's see how uh, this uh, works out, how quickly uh, this works out if we are using tabular integration. So in tabular integration, we're just going to take the polynomial differentiated repeatedly until we get zero and so that tells us how much how many times we should also integrate the other terms polynomial this time is x squared derivative of x squared is 2x derivative of 2x is 2 derivative of 2 is 0 so that is the number of uh, uh, columns we're going to need then this term we integrate so if we're differentiating this we multiply by half this time we're integrating we divide by half each time so that's going to be 4 e to the x on 2 going to be 8 e to the x on 2 and then we match these um, accordingly the first one to the second one, second to the third, third to the last, and then of course the zero one uh, does not match to anything. First one is always has got a plus sign, then the signs alternate. And then after that we simply multiply these and we have our integral. So if this is i, so therefore i is going to be since all the terms are going to have e to the x squared we can just factor that one straight away so here we're going to have two times x squared and here we're going to have minus four times two x and lastly we're going to have plus two times eight and uh, e to the x on two plus c and the integral is done so now if you compare this uh, with this it's uh, still going still going still going and that i'm sure you're going to appreciate how efficient the method of tabular integration is next we're going to apply it on this one this again we have uh, worked out on integration by parts video 
uh, part uh, four. So you might want to check it out. We're going to work it out this time using tabular integration. So we've got x squared cosine of 0.2x dx. So the polynomial is similar to what we had in the previous question. Um, I'm going to need a bit more space here. So 2x, 2 and 0. So then we've got cosine point 2x here. Yeah, we integrate this. So that's going to be 5 sine 0.2x. And then the next one is going to be negative 25 cosine 0.2x. And the next one still negative. Um, it's going to be 125 sine 0.2x negative and then we match these uh, first to the second second to the third etc this one goes with a plus and minus there and plus there so if this is i then i is going to be uh, let's just do the factorizing at the same time so this is going to be a sine term that is also going to be a sine term so let's start with those ones so for the first one we're going to have 5x squared and then this one is going to be negative 2 times 25 so minus 250 and then this times uh, sine point 0 to x and then this one is going to be plus because we've got a minus here and a minus there. So that's going to be plus 25 times 2 is 50. It's going to be 50x cosine 0 0.2 and then plus c. And uh, that is the end of that. All right. At this point, just to uh, make sure that you understand this, we're going to ask you to have a go at this. Pause the video. And then when you continue the video, you can compare with our solution. All right, at this point, we're going to scroll down to our solution for C. Um, we do hope that this video is uh, useful. Uh, please uh, do not forget to uh, click on the subscribe button, uh, like the video, and if you've got any questions, you can post them uh, in the comments section. All right, so in this case, the polynomial is 8x cubed. So that and its derivatives is in this first row here. And then in the second row, <clears throat> each time here when we're integrating, we divide by negative 2. That becomes negative half, 1 on 4, 1 on 8. And uh, that last one is supposed to be 1 on 16. <clears throat> and then, so we multiply. Again, all the terms are going to have e to the minus 2x. So you might as well factor that out. 8 and negative times negative half is negative 4, 24. Divided by 4 is 6. 48 over 8 is 6. And 48 over 16 is 3. And so we can just factor out the negative here, and that becomes our final expression. All right, thank you.